Being a VTuber isn't the ideal life that it appears to be on the surface. We often see the entertaining and engaging front face of VTubers, however being a VTuber isn't always as easy or as carefree as it may seem. While being a VTuber can be a very exciting and rewarding experience, it comes with a fair amount of challenges and risk. One of the biggest challenges faced by VTubers is the internal and external pressure to constantly produce new content. The desire to remain relevant exists within most creators, however in such a crowded field such as VTubing, it can be even harder to manage. VTubers often have to juggle life, content creation, live streaming, and interacting with their fans, all of which can be mentally and emotionally draining. Especially when a creator isn't seeing the results they set out to acquire, this can be demoralizing to say the least. In addition to the pressure to produce and succeed, VTubers also face the challenge of maintaining a public image. As an online personality, VTubers are often in the public eye and under scrutiny. Take for example Mori Calliope. She has been the subject of immense hate from aunties as discussed in this video on the subject. Needless to say, VTubers may feel pressure to present a certain image or persona to their fans in order to maintain their popularity and attract new viewers. This is down 10%, but at least I became more honest with myself. Well done, well done, I'll take a 10% quote unquote uh, cuteness decrease Taking, uh, to be uh, myself, I guess. There is right. Essentially, they're incentivized to offer the audience the best version of themselves, and this can be difficult to maintain at all times. Which is why we've seen a few creators crack under the pressure that comes with this. VTubers often may worry about judgment and criticism that come from their audience or the public, further pressuring them to put on a quote unquote show of sorts. This is especially challenging for larger VTubers and those tied to a company, who may feel like they have more to lose and may be more hesitant to break the mask and express their genuine emotions. And I feel like it goes without saying, but it can be difficult to have to bottle up your emotions and avoid speaking about them. And while some may find outlets in which they can relinquish their feelings, others may just silently take on the pressure and avoid letting it affect their work. However, this is no easy feat and eventually the cracks will begin to show. We've seen an increasing number of VTubers going on breaks in recent times, and I theorize that while not solely due to mental health and burnout, I posit that it definitely has a role to play in the uptick. As discussed, there are many pressures and expectations placed upon VTubers both internally and externally, and with that one can expect that stress and exhaustion will emerge from that. However, due to the nature of VTubing and relevancy, a lot of the time creators aren't given the adequate opportunity to rest and recover, which leads many to develop an unhealthy work-life balance and eventually burn out. I'm sure many of you are familiar with the term burnout, but I'm going to briefly explain what it is and how it particularly affects creators. Burnout is a state of physical and mental exhaustion caused by excessive and prolonged stress. It usually is symptomized by decreased productivity, a lack of motivation and enjoyment in your work, and a feeling of cynicism and detachment. It can even be symptomatic of depression, excessive stress, or generally poor mental health. Creators often inevitably at one point or another in their career will face a period of burnout. Whether that lasts a couple of days, months, or even years depends on the severity. If burnout persists though, it can have serious consequences on the mental health of the creator. One can develop anxiety, depression, and serious fatigue over time as a result of the prolonged stress and worry that comes with burning out. Some of these worries stem from the pressure we discussed earlier, such as worrying you're not producing enough or that you aren't deserving of your success. And this feeling of unworthiness can envelop into an imposter syndrome where you don't feel qualified or suited to being a VTuber, which needless to say is not a great way to think. I personally have felt like an imposter at times and been through periods of burnout on numerous occasions, and from the perspective of someone who has experienced this, I can only speculate that a lot of other creators experience burnout as well. Spotting burnout from an audience perspective is subtle and hard to notice, especially since a lot of creators aren't very vocal about it. Though one thing I've noticed from creators who are vocal about their burnout is that it usually causes a lack of uploads, an increased gap between uploads, and a lack of communication with their audience. Sound familiar? Now I don't want to speculate too heavily on the mental health of another creator, as that feels wrong and a bit unethical for me to do. However, I will say that from currently everything I know about burnout, I would suspect that Gao Gur and other VTubers are experiencing a form of it currently. As viewers, what we shouldn't do is act as if we know everything going on behind the scenes. There definitely could be more to the situation than we realize, but assuming it is a form of burnout, there's a few things that we can do as an audience to not perpetuate the issue for the creator. And I mentioned the audience's role here because it definitely can worsen or aid in a creator's feelings of burnout. I've seen a lot of people complain about Gal Gura's elongated breaks and infrequent communication with the audience. I talked about this in a stream last week, but Gura didn't stream for a single week or update fans about her situation, and many took to her comment section to criticize her lack of communication communication with them, saying that she owes it to them and a bunch of weird other takes. Now, wishing for better communication from Gura is fine, but going about it in the way that Minnie did just wasn't a good look, and I mean, I'm sure Gura saw the comments since the tweet announcing her break stated that she'd be more active on Twitter, a site she dislikes greatly. And while I don't believe that these people intend to be harmful in any way, 
they could be making the situation worse by adding further pressure onto her. Part of the reason I think we have problems like this is because mental health isn't discussed nearly enough in the VTuber community. One reason this could be is due to the fact that there's an overlap between idol culture and VTubing, where the mental health of media personalities isn't exactly a top priority to say the least. But regardless, it's a discussion we need to have as it affects audience members and creators alike. Not to step on a soapbox or anything, however we could be doing a lot better in regards to this issue. Normalizing breaks and creators being able to take time away from their online presence is definitely a step forward in the right direction. We as a community should be supportive towards the creators we like, and thankfully I've seen a really positive response to the announcement of Galgura's break. Just being understanding of VTuber schedules and needs and encouraging them to take breaks and prioritize their mental health can go a long way. By doing so, we can create a more supportive and sustainable online community, which prevents things like burnout from happening to our favorite VTubers. And for any creators, VTubers, or otherwise who are watching this video, here's a few tips that can actually prevent burnout from occurring. One of the most important things as we discuss here is taking breaks to allow yourself time to rest and recharge. This could mean taking a day or two off streaming or content creation, or just simply taking some time to step away from the computer to just do something else. Else. Lately, I've been spending less time on Twitter and social media as a whole, and it's definitely helped me feel better in a lot of ways. Which leads me to another point about social media, and that's setting clear boundaries around work in your personal life. This can mean setting limits on the number of hours spent on social media, content creation, or live streaming per work, and abiding by these limits and setting dedicated time for self-care and relaxation. During these dedicated hours, there's a lot you can do to relax. Some of the things I personally practice are meditation, touching grass, and engaging in physical activity, or just enjoying time with friends over Discord. Just generally things would take you away from your work and allow you to calm your mind and have fun. Another thing to prevent burnout is to reach out for support from friends and family if you're feeling overwhelmed or stressed. It's really important to remember you can ask for help and to have a support system ready for you. As an online content creator, it can sometimes feel isolating and difficult to deal with the stress and demands of your work, so having people around you who encourage you and lift you up during tough times is kind of essential. Connecting with others who are in a similar situation to you and understand the unique challenges of being a creator can be very beneficial to you. There are many online communities and groups which are quite supportive and willing to help you out if you're struggling with mental health or are just overwhelmed. I've included a link to a couple that I know of personally, however feel free to share additional resources in the comments comments if you know of any. If things end up getting seriously difficult for you to manage and you can't seem to find a strong support network, consider seeking help from a mental health professional. Having a place to vent and discuss your feelings or challenges can help a lot in coping with the demands of your work. Lastly and most importantly, VTubers should be mindful of prioritizing their well-being above short-term goals and success. While I can understand the importance of consistency and working hard, it ultimately needs to be sustainable. You need to ensure your workload is manageable and sustainable in the long term, and this can mean tweaking your own schedules, workload, or even hiring someone to help out with certain tasks to meet your content creation goals. If you don't prioritize your well-being, you may inevitably end up burning out and falling off the consistency you worked so hard to build up. Therefore, it's pertinent to follow the advice and notice the signs of burnout I put forward in this video to ensure you can continue VTubing for the long term. That being said, I hope whether you're a content creator or a fan of VTubing, you found this video to be informative and helpful on the subject of burnout. If you did, you may find this video on how to design a good VTuber model and what that entails to be interesting. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Leave a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel for more VTuber content. Thanks again for watching and peace out.